Okay folks, today we're testing a factory Delco AM FM radio for 67 to 72 Chevy trucks, Suburbans, Blazers, and I think that's it. Anyway, a uh, beautiful, beautiful original radio. You'll see the original tag on the side uh, is 11TFP2 which shows that this is a Chevrolet radio for 1971 out of a truck and it's an FM push button or AM FM push button and was built I guess in the second shift or that's the second design something like that anyway um, that shows that this is an original truck radio it's not a later van radio later in the 70s uh, they had vans that had a very similar looking radio but the uh, antenna port was in a different area the face was slightly different you can see this uh, the numbers on this radio have kind of like a greenish tint to them um, it says Delco here as opposed to having a little bit different logo. So anyway, the other uh, van radios will work in a truck with some modifications, but this is the real deal. So if you've been looking for the real deal, you found it. Anyway, a uh, real easy hookup. Uh, the plug is not included, but I need to use it to test the radio. If you do need a plug, let me know. I'm sure I could uh, help you out. Usually it's part of the car's or truck's wiring harness. Anyway, 12-volt uh, power hooks up here. Your speaker hooks up to the green cord. The uh, black and green is for the ground on the speaker. The radio I actually have grounded out here. And uh, yeah, three simple wires and an antenna. We have it hooked up to a 12 volt power source, the correct 8 ohm speaker. And uh, yeah, now we can test it. Um, I will tell you, I live in a valley. So from about the center of the dial on down, the reception is weak or pretty much non-existent. That is not the radio. That is just uh, where I live here. Uh, what else can I tell you? The original inner and outer knobs are included in good condition. Uh, the chrome on the radio is quite nice. It has some little uh, pepper kind of pitting here, but nothing, uh, as you can see, it's really nice. Uh, the push buttons are all nice, just light scuffs and scratches, but nothing uh, to write home about. The AM, FM flip dial fully works. Looks great. Both the AM and the FM indicators are intact. Really, as far as original radios go, this is cherry pie. So uh, we're going to power it up and show you this puppy works. Hopefully you can hear it kind of humming there. You can hear a little station coming in there. Like I said, where I live here, it's weak until halfway through the dial. A little preparation will make you and your family there we safer go. in an Timely story. After trying several dating sites in hopes of meeting someone who shared her faith and love for the mass. It will help you make the right choices before buying an annuity. Best website to help answer frequently asked questions. Anyway, there's AM. Now we'll go to what most people probably care about FM. Really nice. I'll show you that when you adjust the volume, there's no weird crackling or anything like that. Just to see, you know, where are the issues? And we want to understand that. Paga la cuota normal de alta definición. En un dealer de carros. Just awesome. Estuviéramos las raíces. Sean bendecidos al estómago. Law tried to strike a balance there. It's bigger than yourselves. Just awesome reception all the way through the dial. I'll show you the push buttons work here. Finally, I'll show you how to set a push button here. Find a station we like. Okay, let's say we like this station. You just pull out on any push button you want, push it back in, then no matter where you're going, 
go right back to where you were. Anyway, if you've been looking for an original AM FM radio for your 67 to 72 Chevy truck, GMC truck, Blazer, Jimmy, Suburban, Carryall, whatever you're after, this is the radio. So don't miss it, guys. Thanks.